Welcome to This Much Is True's Midweek Catch-Up. My apologies, you can't see me in video today, but maybe that's a good thing. I've had horrendous problems with my webcam, uh, just technical interface problems. Not sure what's happening. I uh, thought it might be just... I have two PCs directly ahead of me, and I thought it might have been just restricted to one. Some kind of software glitch, but I put it on the second one and it won't work either so anyway here we are i said i'd pop in midweeks uh, just off the phone to nigel hi nigel nigel is one of our long-term list for he suffers by listening to us but i think he's a kind of masochist he seems to like it and i enjoy his company as well what news have i got well There is an app you can get on your phone, um, and indeed you can check them on YouTube as well, called Paranormal UK. Bit of a misnomer, really, because it's run from the States, but um, as its name suggests, we're talking about all matters paranormal, be it, I don't know, UFOs, ghostly. I prefer to stick with the... um, Away, if I can, from the UFOs, unless you've got something to add. I've been selected to present a programme on Paranormal UK, and I'm looking forward to that, because much as I do love my few people here, um, I'm trying to build an audience and kind of bang my head off a stone wall, whereas on the Paranormal UK platform, I will have a ready-made audience as it's well-established and well-liked by a lot of people who have an inkling for the subject so if you are my program is going to be called scary era you might have seen some of it on youtube already but this is going to be an audio version scary era era being the gaelic word for ireland so anybody out there who has uh, any kind of paranormal story relating to ireland uh, perhaps something attached to their family or their parents related a, a ghost story or a historic story or just the oddity largely but not exclusively uh, contained within the isle of ireland i'd love to hear from you and you can get me on this much is true at protonmail.com how about it this much is true at protonmail.com so i essentially will have two shows of an hour's duration each that's what my thinking is anyway Going out at the mid-month, probably not this month, but starting mid-month and then going into the first of every month. So I'm guessing the first show might be up around the first of November, which would be good good if I can put it out on Halloween, of course, all the better. Samhain and all that, you know, in Ireland, Celtic, where Halloween really originated. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. I had other stuff to talk to you about as well, but after an hour and a half, if not more, of... I'm sorry, pricking around here with PCs at the behest of of work I have to do. I ain't really in the mood for getting up there and pouring it on. But you are what makes this whole thing exist. And if you want to comment below, fair enough. But I would love you to contact me. This much is true at protonmail.com. Not going to say it again because it's just going to sound desperate. So that's all that, that's happening, really. That's all that's happening. It's very autumnal here, as I'm sure it is in your neck of the woods as well, unless you're in Australia. Uh, so we're walking around kicking leaves, myself and my wife, at, uh, at lunchtime. Got a few keys cut and <laughs> got our little walk in. But yeah, the technical stuff's doing my freaking head in. And my best mate in the world has just gone to the States for a few weeks. If anybody would have sorted it, it would have been Steve. But there you go. Can't have everything. So uh, take care because I care and you know where to get me. Yeah, I'm not going to repeat the name. Will I? Yeah. This much is true at protonmail.com. Bye.